Alright everyone, welcome back to Hard West, where we continue on from me sort of completely and totally failing to complete a mission for an hour until I drop the difficulty like a little girl. Anyway, let us return to the Ballad of Alvaro Vasquez, Mass Murderer Extraordinaire. Right, I need manpower and I need provisions. Well, snacks and bods. Fair enough. Let us go to a farm and see what we can acquire. In the wilderness, they found a run-down but still operational farm. When they approached, the farmers levelled guns at the group, but Diego found the right words to allay their fears. Still, the farmers were anything but hospitable. The owner's son made a single offer and did not tolerate any attempts to haggle. $300 for a pile of food he specified by pointing his gun at it. <laughs> Which he just immediately had to hand in case she fancied threatening someone at gunpoint and then trying to sell them some food. The man accepted the money and walked off, saying they would come back later if they needed more. Well, they could come back, not they would. Whatever. And then over to the village. Getting Mountain Blade Warband <laughs> Mountain Blade Warband flashbacks here. The poverty stricken village seemed like a good place to acquire manpower. Fifty men expressed willingness to join the expedition and serve as Vasquez peons. They asked for five hundred dollars in return. Man, debt ten bucks apiece. It was a princely sum, but they knew the expedition did not have a choice. I had another choice, so I threw five hundred dollars at the problem and it all went away. After the transaction, a man who had been watching from afar approached the posse and offered his gun and his leadership. He said his name was David O'Connell and he knew the locals well. He replied that adventure was its own reward, but that he couldn't say no to a piece of whatever wealth the expedition turned up. When Vasquez asked how he could acquire, how he could be sure O'Connell wasn't one of the La Fortuna's hired guns, the stranger replied, They'll vouch for me, pointing to several of La Fortuna's men hanging from a tree. Well, it's either right or massively deep cover. Zacharias thought it was risky. Diego just shrugged and said they were doomed either way. Vasquez agreed and let O'Connell join, not hiding his enthusiasm. O'Connell assured they would be the, they would be glad of his company. And then he bummed me in his sleep. Wait, in his sleep? My sleep! One of those! And then we were camp. Vasquez told his men to set up the camp in the ruins. The group's new goal was to find a way to cross the river. Meanwhile, the Inquisitor's state was worsening. They would need to patch him up and send him back before moving on. The expedition's current main camp, where all the supplies and peons are located, along with any injured men. Ah, so I've got to get the Inquisitor away. Da -da -da -da. Right, well... General men, general posse, organizing a hunt. Feverish and riddled with open wounds, Cervantes muttered darkly about angels and demons as he twisted in a puddle of blood and sweat. They could have sent him off in the state, but having Zacharias patch him up would first would be a smarter option. I need to get some liquor. Right, what else can I do? Health of the men, health of the... Uh, Vasquez ordered, uh, considered to send some peons to hunt in the area around the camp. While the area was relatively safe, animals were not very plentiful. Um, let's go hunting ourselves. Suddenly, out of the trees, a jaguar pounced on a member of the posse, wounding him badly. The men abandoned the hunt, barely making it out alive. Oh, well, Senor Zacharias now has a face mutilation. Good for you, you fucking knobber. Scouts can be sent to explore the area. Well, <laughs> let's do the riverbank. Nearby, the, nearby, they discovered a wrecked steamboat. More importantly, downriver, the peons discovered some old docks. It seemed like an ideal spot for crossing the river on a raft. Right, and let's quickly send some scouts west as well. The scouts discovered a location down river that seemed perfect for fishing or mining gold. They also spotted an old sawmill. Wood could be procured there. It also seemed like a good spot for hunting. Nice. Right. Let's see, can I send people... No, I can't do it from here. I've got to go to the other location. Right. So, we've unlocked a bunch of locations all along the riverbank. Um, so what have we got there? Riverbank... Fate Trader, Old Sawmill, Farmhouse, yada yada yada. You get the general idea. Um, what can I do for that? Can I actually buy stuff from the village? Um, ah, don't need to do that. Eastern Riverbank. Let's go to the wreckage. See what's over there. A wrecked steamboat could be found on the riverbank. It looked to have been there for several years. Though it had long since been looted, it could be dismantled for raft wood. Up oh, sure. As the men were taking the boat apart, it became unstable and collapsed. The peons panicked and fled the scene. Uh, for fuck's sake. Disassemble the fucking thing! Well, fuck you as well. How could it collapse twice? I disassembled it once! Fuck you too. Right, let's go into the trapper. The shop offers a variety of weapons and equipment. So I need uh, bottles of liquor. Do I have bottles of. With 14 barrels? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, there's some fairly interesting gear floating around here. No liquor. 
That's annoying. Uh, and I've got the old de deadly Derringer. What have you got here? So, shotgun Derringer, shotgun, shotgun and musket, don't worry, shotgun. Right. This is not necessarily filling me full of confidence. Close, I said. Okay. Well, let's just keep bimbling along, see what we can do. Uh, don't need provisions. Let's go to the sawmill. The group found an old abandoned sawmill near the woods. Though it had not been used in le not not used in years, not used in years, it could still be of some use to Vasquez's expedition. Searching the wood, cutting trees. Um, let's search the woods. Vasquez considered sending men to, to the nearby woods for anything useful other than food. Six men were requ required for an effective search party. Odds were that all of them would make it home safe. During their search, the men found a weapon left behind by either a careless hunter or a bandit. It wasn't the best weapon they'd seen. Douglas dust a special and a lucky coin. It wasn't, but they had a useful find nonetheless. Hey, nice. Right, well, let's do a quick hunt. Um, eight men would be needed for food, but they would probably make it home safely. The hunt ended in a failure and the men returned empty-handed. Well, go fuck yourself then. Right, let's cut some trees. Vasquez considered a bit of And there was a serious risk here. Some of the men had little experience. So, uh, let's not get a shitload of people killed. Um, well, say hi to the fate trader, I suppose. You fucking Peter Dinklage looking motherfucker. Um, could you have so many booze? Several bottles of whiskey. Oh, which he handed to Vasquez. He refused all payment for them, insisting in fate has to take its course, though we do get our share of freedom. The men were confused, but accepted graciously. Ah, oh, he hooked me up with a bunch of cool shit. Ah, yeah, the old Douglas Duster, I remember that. Ah, and the revolver revolver, and the shotgun revolver, and all sorts of other cool shit. Ah, we got stuff from there as well, that's pretty neat. Um, how much cash do I have? 200 bucks. Yep. Yep. Don't judge me, don't judge me, but I want cool shit. Thank you. Just to offer. Thank you. Confirm. Trade! And things. And then I had things. Right. Let us bimble back to camp. And along the way... Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I completely forgot. <laughs> right. Let's check on Cervantes. Let's give him the booze. Cervantes was resting now. His condition was better now that Zacharias had done some work on him, but he was still in no state to continue the journey. Continue the journey. Well, let's carry him away. And shouting, Cervantes called to Vasquez as the peons carried him off. Grasping Vasquez's arm like a drowning man, he raved that they must follow the Red Star. Diego shook his head sadly. Zacharias merely raised an eyebrow. Vasquez Wait, huh? would never forget the raw conviction in the Inquisitor's eyes. How have four people died already? I, I didn't even know! I didn't even notice! Oh my god, I'm a monster. Aren't we? Aren't we? Anyway, on we go. A spot looks suitable for mining gold from the river. Um, so mine for gold itself. Let's just grab some gold out there. Oh, well, go and fuck your fucking face with a fucking length of fuck, you fucking fucker. Uh, all right, let's quickly just arm everyone with some goddamn guns. Right, doop de doop de doo. Douglas Duster, give you the Derringer, and then we've got the revolving revolver and the shotgun revolver. Shotgun revolver, and right. Oh, this is a good point. I've got the goddamn cards as well, haven't I? Right. Aha! What do we have here? We have uh, ah, Jinx, we've got Scavenger, we've got Beast Hearing, we've got Ricochet, and we've got Artery Shot. Right, well, let's give you, and... So what have we got there? Got Ace, Nine, Ten, Ace, and King. I could do a pair of Aces. What is that? Scavenger and Jinx. Well, that, that's a slight improvement, I suppose. Plus everything, everyone's still got a power. Okay, you... Do I just want to give you... Yeah, you know what? Hang on a second. Right. Don't want to give you that. Yeah, let's give you the revolving revolver. Revolver, revolver. Sorry, every single time I do that, I'm just going to like, eh, hey, revolver, revolver. Anyway, come on, let's go and shoot some people. Oh, you look anxious. This desolate spot looks like suitable gold for gold mining, but the waters are infested with alligators. Mine here, mine here might be worth the risks, however. I don't... Oh, fuck it. Alright, let's go to the sawmill and get some of my people killed. Do, 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 do. Cutting the trees, cutting the trees. Another man died and a bunch of people got hurt. I like how it doesn't even tell you that people have died. We are the worst people. And let's do it again. Hey, no one else died that time. But some people got rather badly hurt. Fantastic. Right. Um, 
Trapper Shop. What do we have floating around here? Ah, just various side things and then 10 gauge double barrel, Demi Borgen, blah 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 blah. Right, Washa, Washa, confirm. Oh, no, hang on a second, give me. How much is that worth? 80? Is that worth just getting that? Confirm. And then. Anything, anything worth 30? No. Fine. Well, actually, you know what? Get all three of those, and we're square, motherfucker. Fantastic. Right. So what I need to do... So I've got 33 people, 22 food. Yeah, I need to go and talk to the goddamn farm people. Unless, do I want to go and go hunting at the sawmill again? Might be worth a try. Do, do, do. Let's give this one more crack and see what see what works. That was a success. The men returned with food, but a man died. So, you know... Okay, um, let's go back to camp and see if I can heal these people that are hurt. That might be a good idea. Sick or injured peons at the camp were not able to perform any tasks unless given medical treatment and extra rations. 14 of the camp was currently 16 or injured. Damn, fair enough. Um, 1, 5, 10. Yeah. Heal some of these fuckers. Um... All right, all right, all right. Man, I'm running low on everything right now. Um, hmm. Do I want to try and do the wreckage again, or do I want to do more sawmill? That tends not to get too many people killed. Let's go with that. Okay, cut trees. Aha! We now have wood. Oh. Good fun. I was going to have some of the woods. Very, very damn Um, and Let's see if I can do another hunt. As a success, some people return with food. Fabulous, right. We have wood. Let us cross the river and die horribly. So to condol off with the peons before launching the operation. Uh, they can start the operation soon. Constructing the rafts and loading the men and supplies on them would take time, however. And Vasquez had the feeling they had been noticed. He and his posse were prepared to stand guard while the peons built and loaded the rafts. O'Connell suggested he could supervise the peons instead of standing guard. Right, hang on a second. If that's the case, let me just make sure O'Connell doesn't have all the really cool shit. Um, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Maximum shotgun. That that moustache demands a fucking double barrel shotgun. Right. Close. Go. And let's send O'Connell back. Right. I could have done it from here anyway. Um, oh, we'll just open the card screen quickly actually as well. Because that's free. Um, not really useful for anything. Um, actually, that's a good point. Who is... Right. So six, eight, six. Right. You. Have that. Increases your health. Good man. Right. Close. Proceed to combat. Delicious combat, where we all die horribly. Ah, uh, we needed to hold La Fortuna's men at bay until the rafts were loaded with precious booty. Well, not booty. As the peons began loading the rafts, La Fortuna's men attacked. Vasquez and his crew held the invaders off as long as they could. Meanwhile, the peons continued hauling supplies. Hmm, okay, interesting. Now, what the fuck? Okay, supplies... Uh, here's a few medical supplies. Right, cool. Uh, let us get into some positions and wait for the bandits to show up and start wrecking my fucking face. And immediately, no full cover. Thank you very fucking much, game. Right. You, sir. Over here. And you, sir. Over here. And then, hmm, do I want to cover the right flank or the left flank? See, that's fairly well protected. That's got more high cover, though. I don't know, it's got a reasonable amount of high cover as well. Let's just run your little derriere over here. Oh, no, shit, I can't get that far. Um, Right, over here, then. Run, 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 run. All right, motherfuckers, let's get cracking. Where are you? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone at all? Ah, there we go. Oh, shit. Cheeky motherfucker that you are. Christ, okay. What I need to do is get over here. Ah, there you are, you shitter. Right. Uh, no, hang on a second. Right, 44. No, no, no. So that's 44. That's 49. Right. Well, I know what I'm doing with my day. Shooting this bitch. Oh. Down you go. 
Right, it begins. The glorious, glorious fucking shitstorm. Right, where are you fuckers? No? Really? Nothing? Alright, fine. Um, oh, I don't want to leave that flank exposed. Right, let's get you around the corner here then. Um, uh, not fun, not fun. Alright, I don't see any douchebags there. Let's push up a little bit further forward and see what we find. Right. Uh, <laughs> no, I want to keep that guy covering that flank. Let's go. Come on, you prick. Let's boogie. Well, that was an incredibly terrible idea. Good for you. Oh, shit. Mind out. Prick. When he's up there having fun. Fuck off. Whew, okay. Maybe these shotguns weren't the best of ideas, but we're just going to have to live with it. All right. You, sir. Well, that's useful. That would also work, and it would also mean I could fire a second shot. Ah, see what I mean? What? Hang on a second, that was... Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, right, can I... I can hit him from there. Right, suck on this. Nice. Not so fun now, is it, you twat? Alright, um... Okay, I'm going to run here and just see... Yeah, there's someone there. Right, that wasn't a great idea. Can I hit you with any kind of reliability? No. What I need to do is get my ass back in there. Which wasn't the smartest choice of action, but fuck it. This is the way I've been... These are the hand. This is the hand I've been dealt, and I'm going to play it. Play it like a complete and total mongoloid. Like this gentleman here, who's just slowly running at me and not expecting to get shot. Bless him. Bless his little cotton socks. Oh no, fuck that guy, though. Fuck that guy in the face. Alright. Well. Come on. Come on. You're not impressing anyone. Hello. Ah, there you are. Good afternoon, sir. Appears to be spoiling for a fucking rumble. You're gonna get you're gonna fucking get one. Right. Um yeah, definitely. Well how is that only 59%? He's right there. Fine, fuck you. <laughs> Just fucking right in the gut. It's like, nah mate, fuck off, mate. Uh right, 43, 23, 43, go for it. Oh balls, right. And really? Well, R3 shot. Uh, no, that's not really worth it. Let's just plug away at this then. Reduce everyone's luck at the at the very least. And off you go again. Whew, okay, okay. Don't seem to be having any major issues just yet, apart from this git being a rather cheeky son of a bitch. Come on, you. I might fan with him, actually. Oh, Christ! Ah, son of a bitch! Not funny. Not fun, guys. Kind of hurt. Kind of sucks when you shoot me. And this twat again. All right, fine. Um, it's not really worth it right now. Let's just see what else I can do. I've got that twat there. It's the only guy I can shoot at. That's actually a slightly better shout. Let's give it a crack. Fuck you. Down you go. Nice. He is racking up the body count where he is. Uh, oh, that's too good to pass up, really, isn't it? Fuck you. Down you go. Bell end. Right, and then we'll just keep plugging away at you, I suppose. Right, and then one more. Come on. There we go. Okay, this is going fairly well. I haven't been horrifically maimed. That twat up there is starting to get on my nerves. Oh, don't you dare. I was going to say, if you hit me a third time in a row, I'm not going to be pleased. All right. What are we looking at here? We've got you behind there. Oh, we've got someone over there. You're reloading. Going to take another pot shot? By all means, be my guest. You're going to fucking miss. <sighs> right. Reload. And then just start plugging away again. Plink! Right, so, I've got you. I don't think I can actually just shoot at where I think you are, though, can I? Right. You, or you, or... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go for that. Oh my god! Okay, fair enough, that worked. <laughs> it's like, did we get him? Did we get him? I think we got him. 
His brains are currently fucking everywhere. <laughs> oh, speaking of brains being fucking everywhere. Hi. Bye. Nice. Oh shit, where did you where the fuck did you come from, you cheeky cunt? Ow! Rude. So very fucking rude. Oh, and more of these bellends. I, I should probably get some support down here, because this is kind of an awkward place to... Yeah, I'm definitely getting some support down here. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my God, what the fuck? What I wouldn't give for a bit of dynamite right now. Okay. This, this right here, not looking too hot. Not looking too hot at all. And, yeah, there's medical supplies over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Supplies were loaded. They could make a run for it now, or try to hold the enemies off, giving the peons time to load absolutely everything. I'm sorry, was there an option where I didn't absolutely murder fucking everyone? Because that's exactly what I'm aiming for here, is uh, kill everyone, and then keep killing them. And kill them in the face, kill them to death. If it was physically possible to do so, I would kill them to death. Right. Uh, this should work, this should work, this should work, don't kill me. Right. Can't fan, can shoot, suck a dick. Yep. Not feeling so cocky now, are you? Uh, you, on the other hand, yeah, you shouldn't be feeling cocky, because that's a fuckload of people. Um, let's see, 49, 49, 26. Actually, will the shotgun... Yeah, the shotgun will actually pay dividends here. Right. Fuck that guy. Or don't. Why do I even say these things? They only result in me getting shot. Ow! Like that! You tosser. Okay. Well, at least these guys are just running out into public view so I can pick them off like fucking clay pigeons. Ow! Why? Why keep shooting me? You complete and total fuck. Oh! One, two, three, four, f six fucking people. Oh my god. Fuck off the lot of you. <laughs> you horrible, horrible people. Um. Right. This is where the fucking Doja comes in to play me thinks. Let's see. Not you. You. Right. Fuck that guy. And then, is there anyone else there with three health? There is another. Fuck that guy as well. Right. That's two of them taken care of. <laughs> Not so. I keep slapping the. I apologize. I'm still slapping the mic like an idiot. Right. Fan. Now the cunt. Well, got two of it. Well, hit him with one of them. Right. Can't do that. Right, you, sir, need to get the fuck over here. Pretty sharpish. Right. Get that big, filthy, <laughs> revolving shotgun into my life. And let me kill people. Woo! Okay. Easy, tiger. Easy. That, that, on the other hand, terrible idea. Missed. Oh, you, you guys are just asking for a fucking plastering here. Well, no, no, afraid not. Come on, come on, come one, come all. Oh, it's like you're just kind of clustering together so I can all shoot you. It's wonderful. Ow! Cheeky bastard. Were loaded. It was time to leave. Right. Cone shot. Both of these cunts. Fuck, both of you. Please, please. Oh, well, I got one of them. All right. This fucker over here, please be shot. There we go. Right. That's those fuckers taken care of. And then... Um... Well, might as well take care of this guy as well. Fuck you. Down you go. Whoo, okay. Do I have another shot in my shotgun? No, I don't. Right. Do I want to take Mandrake? No, I'm alright for that. Let's reload. And you're retreating. Good man. That's a very good career advancement. Running at me, as you have seen, ends very badly. I have a cantankerous old man with two shotguns. He doesn't really give a shit. He just likes killing people. Killing all the people he possibly can. Right. Uh, can I get there in this turn? No, I can't. Right. How am I going to do this? Because healing myself would be an exceptionally good idea. Okay. Thing, thing, thing. 30, 26, they're not really worth my fucking time. Let's move forward a little bit, and then... 30, 34... Oh, no, and a second. Do I want to reload with this? Is this... No. 
Right, let's just reload with you. And let's start laying down the withering fire on these fuckers. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to have to get you around the corner, aren't I? Right. Where is a good place to start fucking with you people? Here would be an excellent place, actually. Howdy, motherfuckers. It's time to get shot. Oh, and now you run away. Right into the line of fire of my other guy. Yeah, this isn't going to end well for you. This is going to end extremely badly. <laughs> Ow, 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 and ow again, you fucking bastard. Right, fuck you. Yep, not so fun when I'm shooting you now, is it? Swat. Down you go. Okay, let's, uh... Shufty over... Uh, calm down, game, calm down. You will have your moment. You will have your fucking moment. And then... Murder! Oh, god damn it. Or don't. Or don't do that. That's entirely down to you. Yeah, let's get you in here and heal. Seems like a perfectly good idea. Wonderful. Right. Now, where the fuck are you going? Oh, you're going to be trying to be a crafted little cunt. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Okay. We're doing it like this, are we? Fine. Um, run around here. Paint his guts all over the fucking scenery. There we go. Superior firepower. La Fortuna's men dispersed. As they rightly fucking should. Loaded without further disturbances. Nice. Whew. That was fun. That was a good one, actually. I would have honestly enjoyed a bit more wave survival, but yeah, I'm totally okay with that. I like it when they throw a lot of shit at you. It's like, just fucking survive it, bitch. Ah, uh, oh, and I got Vitality Alexis, medicinal bags, loads of stuff. Fantastic. Right. So, we're all alive and upright, and nobody died horribly, explosively, disgustingly. Um, massacre site. Well, I know where I'm going. The site was covered with hundreds of dead bodies. Judging by their state, the bodies had been there for decades. Vasquez had no idea what caused the demise and felt uneasy disturbing the remains. It's like for anything. Uh, let's give these guys a proper burial. After many grim hours, all the bodies were buried. The men stood in silence, looking at the hastily made graves. With, I guess, a certain satisfaction, knowing that he had treated the dead with the respect they deserved. A pleasant breeze came from the north. Absurd, though it might seem, he firmly believed it was a reward for his good deed. Huh, <sighs> maybe that actually somewhat improved my luck. Oh, Jesus, yeah. It, get, it gets significantly grimmer as we go further north, doesn't it? Much like, much like in real life. Alright, let's go to the village. This peculiar village was inhabited by curious folk who had dark complexions but dressed like Europeans. They never spoke but had the sight of gold. They had made it plain they were willing to join. They were were willing. They were fucking werewolves to join Vasquez. Ten men could be had for a hundred dollars. I am not spending that shit on you. No offense. All right, maybe some offense. Quite a lot of offense. Um, let us mine for gold in the river. Gold. Twelve gold. That was not fucking worth it. All right, let's let's not fucking bother. Um, all right, let's go to the settlement and see what we can do. Expeditions kept Macaron's main camp, where all the supplies and peons were located, along with any injured men. Uh, let's organise a hunt. Uh, the other is safe. Let's go hunting ourselves. We hunted down several large animals, and returned with a large amount of food. Excellent. Right now, let us check on the health of the men and treats. Oh, let's get rid of. Let's treat most of them. Right, um, now let's send some scouts. Right, we send them north, we send them east. Oh, I should really only do one. Okay, scouts are a member of any location to the east. Among them, an abandoned mine, an old oak mansion, and a dam. Nice. Okay, let's quickly nip back to the old homestay. I can't go back, can I? Fuck. Okay, this is an issue. Okay, um, mine. Ma let's go to the mansion. The Mansions of Madness! Uh, the mansion had once been magnificent, but now its interior was ruined and caked in dust. The men couldn't think who might have built it in such a place. There might be useful items inside, but inspecting it posed a risk. The expedition lacked the provisions required for such an action. Vasquez could force the peons to proceed anyway, but it would increase the risk. Fuck you guys. Hey! We found it. <laughs> there was a decent weapon alongside some valuable items. A black joker, pepper box, and a bunch of cash. All right, I'll take that. Sweet. Uh, village thing, thing. Right, let's go to the dam. Oh, no, Christ. Dam. 
The dam had been constructed during the more prosperous days, but now in a terrible state and barely did its job. Someone had left a few buckets here. Vasquez and his men filled the buckets with water and take them to camp. The peons filled the buckets with water. It was no easy feat, as the buckets were in almost as bad state as the dam. That explained why the former owners had left them behind. The peons produced, procured a decent amount of water, but a second run was out of the question, for these were water-soluble buckets that could not be reused. One might question why that was a fucking choice in the first place. Beneath the mountain ridge, they had stumbled upon an abandoned gold mine. It seemed the miners had left in a hurry, as much as their equipment had remained. Vasquez considered ordering the peons to mine for gold so he could recruit more men, but realised it would be tricky. Let's not go completely fucking crazy here. However, we can now scout the other direction. Send them north! To the north, the scouts discovered an old military outpost which appeared abandoned. It was a perfect lookout point across the region. 